Ha ha! Oh! You know what it is, it's your guy Red Butler in this. Well, this is that pretty left hook hitting you in your goddamn liver. Yo, I told you. Run back the tapes. Call up LeVar Arrington, call up TJ, call up Plaxico. I've been told y'all on Up On Game Show on Fox Sports. I told you in what I wrote on theshadowleague.com. I told y'all every place I could. Y'all must have forgot. Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder is what I'm talking about, fool. Y'all hated on my man. Y'all said he was finished finito. Y'all said he was basura. Shout out to all my El Salvadorians and all my Puerto Ricanos and all my Dominicanos, man. You hated on my man, son. You said my man was trash. You said Tyson Fury got his number. He beat his ass. He's done. He's finished. He's out the game. And I said, no, I said, y'all are bugging. I said, Deontay Wilder has nothing but good fights left in him. The heavyweight landscape is crazy vast. From the shores of Wales and UK to the Alabama shores that he's from, to Las Vegas, to California, to anywhere a big dude want to pull up and throw them goddamn paws. Deontay Wilder is ready for them. Now, if the man that he will fight's name is Tyson Fury, listen and hear me clearly. He will lose. All right, Deontay did it three times. First time, we all know what happened. Tyson Fury got an extra two seconds on the count. It is what it is. Respectfully, I like Tyson Fury. I'm a fan, respectfully. Second fight, third fight, you saw what it was. Shout out to Mark Breland for saving Deontay from getting his ass buried in the second fight. Deontay fired that man. I'ma still say that was a bad move. I think there was more to it than that. Third fight, okay? You got the good training. Look, I like your trainers. I like your trainers. Don House is one of his trainers. That's my man. Shout out to House. I used to work with this man for the, with the UFC for years. If it wasn't for Don House, I wouldn't have got some of the fight contracts I got in boxing because House personally made phone calls for me and told people, yo, hire rep to work back at House to run your fight. Salute Don House. If you don't know who Don House is, he's the guy you now see in Deontay's corner. He looks ridiculously like Sugar Ray Leonard. He know that. I know that. There's a whole crazy story that he had with Sugar Ray about this. I ain't gonna get into that. Shout out to Don House. That's my G. That's my OG. That's my triple OG. You understand? And shout out to everybody in Las Vegas. I used to live there, fool. But I'm gonna tell you this. That third fight Deontay fought Tyson Fury, yeah, he can't do it. It was a good fight and Deontay was looking all right. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't getting finished like that throughout the event. But yeah, he got finished. All right? It is what it is. He said he wanted to go out on his sword. He went out on his sword. But what I'm saying to you, anybody else in the heavyweight spectrum can get it, bro. Period. And you said, oh, nah, this guy, uh, uh. He's a rap. Just because of Tyson Fury. On top of that, in Deontay versus Fury fights two and three, not only did all the Brits come from the UK to cheer on Fury in America, I seen a lot of Americans loving on Tyson Fury pause. Loving on Tyson Fury pause. Last time I checked, Deontay Wilder's from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You thought the only thing out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama was Nick Saban? There's more than Nick Saban. Shout out to Alabama. And you saw they just got bit, finished and beat by Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Deontay Wilder is our heavyweight champion. We celebrated Evander Holyfield. We celebrated Mike Tyson. We celebrated Muhammad Ali. We celebrated all the great heavyweights, Joe Frazier, everybody, Joe, George Foreman, every, you, know the, you know the names. You know the names. Jack Johnson, you know the names. And they didn't even celebrate Jack Johnson because he was dark, brash, gold teeth, sleeping with white women. You know what it is? 
he couldn't care, he could care less in the 19, early 1900s. You dig? Deontay, for some reason, gets that same hate from everybody. Everybody, it has no racial attachments, no gender attachments, none of that. No regional attachments. People, for some reason, just don't be feeling Deontay the way they need to be feeling Deontay. Pause, triple pause. Deontay Wilder fought Robert Hellenius in Brooklyn, the Barclays Center, last weekend on Saturday. It was his return. Deontay ain't fought in a minute. Okay? Deontay hadn't fought since 2021 when he lost to Tyson Fury. So he fought in a year. Now, with Deontay, you know, you'd be like, all right, it's just a year. But for Deontay, that's a lot. Even though, you know what I'm saying, he fought, when he fought Fury, the first time, was, it was February 2020. Then he fought him on October 9th, 2021. But for Deontay to not take a fight, until October 15th, 2022, when his last fight was October 9th, 2021. That's a long time for Deontay. He's a very active heavyweight. He fought Robert Hellenius. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. I'm gonna tell y'all like this. It took Deontay two minutes and 57 seconds in the first round to flatline your man. He caught a body. Caught a body. Okay? And he told you what he was going to do. But you know what Deontay did? Because he's a good dude. At the end of the fight, at the press conference, this man cried. He thought about all the other fallen soldiers, people that actually have lost their life or they'll never be the same after having been knocked out majorly. Like he knocked out Robert Hellenius with a vicious short right hand punch. It was sort of like the anchor punch Ali put on Sonny List. And it was crazy. And he executed that expertly. He baited Robert Hellenius to thinking that he was going to back up and fill him out. And as he backed up and baited him and Hellenius dropped him arms, he put the paws on him and Hellenius fell down. And the crazy thing is the punch was short, right? It was a short little hook. I, you know, I want to say pretty left hook, but it was a right. And it wasn't even a, really a hook. It was like a, a flush right dead into him. Just, it was just short paws. But when you, when you listen back to the feedback, and you know what I'm saying, from the crowd that day and, 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 and the natural, natural sound or whatever, the crack was loud. It was, like Aaron, it was like Aaron Judge's bat hitting for that mythical number. He just hit beating everybody's ass in baseball with the record books and all of that, beating Roger Maris and whatnot. This is how it sounded, the crack. Crack! It's crazy. And Deontay with that punch in under three minutes of the first round you know what i heard the punch say you know what i heard the punch say i heard roy jones's voice from pensacola florida say y'all must have forgot y'all must have forgot man i told y'all this man is a problem y'all never want to give him his respect he earned his respect and the main thing is he didn't even need your respect but you want to know something you deserve to give that man respect because for so long he was knocking everybody out with that right hand and now you understand that yes he can't see tyson fury and that's okay tyson fury is a special kind of animal in boxing straight up it's okay but what he can do is see everybody else we're going to go to what deontay said that's what he said post fight in the ring I set him up. I allowed him to reach, and when he re reached, I attacked. It was a great fight. It's been a good camp for me. We work to make this fun for me. We work at this so much that it can just become a job. We made it fun again. We put in over 700 rounds, and it paid off tonight big time. 700 rounds. That's a lot of, that's a lot of rounds, bros. And you've seen what happened. Backing up, he knocked this fool out with ferocity. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. Um, of course, you know, Deontay, because he's with the smoke, he had a lot to say about who's next. Because, of course, we want to know who's next. Because, again, you know, y'all must have forgot. He's still here for the shenanigans. Deontay goes, I've been hearing rumors about unified heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk. But he's not here, is he? Talking about in the crowd at the Barclays. 
when guys see these knockouts, they turn the corner away from me. I'm ready for whatever, whether it's Andy Ruiz Jr. or Usyk, I'm ready. Deontay is back, and the excitement in the heavyweight division is back. Say it from your chest. Bomb squad! <laughs> Y'all must have forgot, man. Oh, forgive me. You don't know ish about boxing, boy! I tell you that too every show. You don't know ish about boxing. Shout out to Roger Mayweather, man. We're bring Roger in, man. You know what I'm saying? This is why we say this to y'all. You're gonna say, "Red, who are you? What's your qualifications? What's my qualifications?" We're gonna take my address off, man. I'm in the I'm 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 in the game, fool. I'm in. The, you can't see me, fool. I put people in the Hall of Fame. And speaking of which, we know Deontay Wilder wants to have his career, his legacy, so to speak, end in a Hall of Fame level performance over the course of whatever remains of his career. Deontay Wilder's 36 years old now, okay? So at the end of the day, we know what it means in a boxing clock. He got a couple more years, and then it's going to be time to chill out unless you're going to go to Floyd Mayweather route and just take a bunch of exhibitions, get the big bag, and laugh at everybody while you get the big bag. But... I don't know if Deontay's going to be able to pull that off like that crazily because that right hand is scary. And if you're a YouTuber or some other social media fool, eh, you might want to keep your jaw intact, you know? Um, but there's a couple of different fights options for Deontay. Now, we've heard him call out Alexander Usyk. We've heard him call out Andy Ruiz. But I'm going to tell you like this. Somebody who he fought, Luis Ortiz, you know, Luis Ortiz, who Wilder fought, in 2019 and also in 2018 both of them he got knocked out Luis Ortiz Luis Ortiz had something to say about a possible Wilder versus Ruiz and you know Wilder and Ruiz are both under the premier boxing champions banner they in the house that Al Heyman built so you already know that fight is real easy to make however here's what Andy Ruiz critic in Luis Ortiz, excuse me, had to say. Luis Ortiz goes, I told everybody, it's easy money for Deontay. He'll kill Andy Ruiz. This is what he said. This is what Luis Ortiz said. In fact, Luis Ortiz was angling for himself to get a rematch against Andy Andy Ruiz, he goes, Andy Ruiz needs to give me the rematch. Give me the rematch. Okay? Why is that? Because Luis Ortiz is like, why would you want to throw Wilder against Ruiz when, when you know how, how Wilder is moving? He'll probably flatline Ruiz in the ring, like real rap. I'm going to tend to agree. I'm sorry. I love Andy Ruiz. We've seen him beat Anthony Joshua, all that good stuff. But if we're talking, you know, a 36-year-old Wilder who still got it, you know, he came back down in weight to like 215 to fight Robert Hellenius when he was weighing crazy amounts of weight, like 30 pounds more to fight Tyson Fury, trying to bully him back. But that didn't work for Deontay. He moves a lot better with less weight. Fighting Andy Ruiz. Uh, oh, let me tell you the best thing Andy Ruiz did for the heavyweight division. Andy Ruiz showed you that Anthony Joshua can be beat. That's the first person to show you this. It's the first person to show you this. Okay? Anthony Joshua came over here with the big pomp, the big circumstance. And Andy Ruiz said, I'm going to get that belt, bro. And he took the belts. He took the belts. Okay? So, I'm saying that to say, we appreciate Andy Ruiz for doing that. But, slow your roll. We don't need you up here. We don't need that right now. What we need, in my opinion, in my opinion, Boxing Writers Association of America journalist, Red Butler, Hall of Fame voter, Red Butler's opinion is we need to see Deontay Wilder against, drum roll please, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua. Why, you say, Red? And I wrote about this on the Shadow League. I talked about this with my man, um, Andre, but what's my, oh my God, Andres Hale, I'm tripping, pardon me, Andres Hale from the Sporting News on his podcast, Clobbering Time. I told y'all, we need 
Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz. Why? I'm sorry, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. I'm tripping. See, I'm getting all my Anthony's and Andy's messed up. We need this because Anthony Joshua cannot beat Alexander Usyk. That's a wrap for him. He lost to him twice. Not for you. Now, Alexander Usa got every single belt except the one Tyson Fury got. Okay, we need to see those two guys get it cracking. We want an undisputed champion in the heavyweight division. I want to see Tyson Fury. I want to see Alexander Usyk. Yeah, we know Usyk, I believe, is going through surgeries and all of that. It is what it is. That's the fight for the heavyweight supremacy situation. I know Tyson Fury's looking at fighting, I think, Chisora and all that. Whatever. That's some Britain stuff. Fill up, the, fill up the plate and all of that good energy, right? We love that. We're happy for the Brits. We love the Brits. They love fighting. We love them. But what I'm saying to you, Anthony Joshua lost twice to Alexander Usyk. Tyson, I mean, um, Deontay Wilder lost twice to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury needs to fight Alexander Usyk. Anthony Joshua needs to fight Deontay Wilder. It's simple mathematics. It's simple mathematics. Put that together, that's where we need to go. Deontay Wilder, you want a really, really rarefied position right now. Again, you want another belt. We know this. Whatever's going to happen with Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, hopefully there will be an undisputed champion in heavyweight boxing. I don't know if that when that happens, what's going to happen with you. If Alexander somehow beats Tyson Fury, which I don't think he will, but if he somehow beats Tyson Fury, okay. You know, you got a good shot against Alexander Usyk. But don't ever fight Tyson Fury again. Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't feel like that's for you. Some people might say, yo, Red, he could take him. All right. We've seen this happen three times now. He, his first shot was his best shot. The last two, I don't know, bro. We don't know what he looks like against Alexander Usyk. So, Deontay, you might have a situation there. But we only going to know that, and it's only worth your time, if Alexander Usyk beats Tyson Fury. There's more jewelry to get. But in the interim, Anthony Joshua's the bag. You could sell out Wembley Stadium, O2 Arena. We talk 100,000 seat venues, man. Deontay hasn't fought in the UK since he's been mega famous. Go to the UK, get that bread. Get that bread. And I, I believe he beats Anthony Joshua spectacularly in Britain. That's my advice. That's what I think should happen. At the end of the day, like I said before, and I'm going to say it again from my chest. Y'all must have forgot. Because the bomb squad is back in the building. Deontay's here. He put y'all on notice. He's rocking out everything that's not named Tyson Fury. And the game and the energy in the game is back and better for it. My name is Red Butler. You know what the hell it is, man. It's the pretty left hook. Shout out to the whole Up On Game Network. Thank you to Pesomatic, which this show is powered by. And, of course, salute to the whole Up On Game familia. Blanco, Vito, Dustin, Cardo, and, of course, the big homie, LeVar Arrington. Check me out everywhere, man. Keep following, like, subscribe at Up On Game Network, Up On Game Presents. Follow us everywhere YouTube, Instagrams, here, there, and everywhere. It's your guy. Holla at your boy. Listen, the Bomb Squad, the Bronze Bomber's back. Pay attention and show love. He's a citizen, baby. Peace. Hey, yo.